Project Mercury, America's first manned space program, lasted from 1958 to 1963. The Mercury 7, test pilots all, Scott Carpenter, Gordon Cooper, John Glenn, Gus Grissom, Wally Schirra, and Alan Shepard, Jr., and Deke Slayton. Their task proved that man could fly into orbit around the Earth and return live and well to talk about it. Shepard was first in Freedom 7. His 15-minute suborbital hop on May 5, 1961, proved the United States was catching up with the Soviet Union. Three weeks later, President Kennedy's I call for a lunar landing. I believe this nation landing. should commit itself to, to achieving the goal before, before this decade is out of landing, landing a man on the moon, moon and, and returning him safely, safely to, to the, the Earth. Earth. America was launched into a race with the Soviets to be the first on the moon. On February 20, 1962, John Glenn became the first American to orbit the Earth in Friendship 7. Carpenter did three orbits in May of 62. Shira, six, five months later. Cooper wound up the program with 22 orbits in May 1963. Gemini, the bridge to Apollo, used a more advanced vehicle carrying two crewmen. Its goals, test the skills and endurance of the astronauts, practice the rendezvous and docking procedures and other maneuvers for the moon voyage. Astronauts flew 10 Gemini missions between March of 1965 and November 1966. On the second, Ed White, secured by a golden tether, performed America's first okay, spacewalk. Okay, he liked it so much he didn't want to come in. Gemini 6 and 7 rendezvoused in orbit and maneuvered in close formation. Gemini 12 confirmed the docking procedures tested on Gemini's 8, 10, and 11. Astronauts got a warm welcome aboard the carrier following splashdown. But the Gemini flights were over in November 1966. The crews were ready for the great voyage. But before it could begin, tragedy intervened. Astronauts Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chaffee, assigned to the first Apollo mission, perished when fire engulfed the interior of their spacecraft during a launch rehearsal on January 27, 1967. Sixteen months later, a Saturn 1B rocket launched Apollo 7 into Earth orbit. Astronauts practiced rendezvous and simulated docking procedures as millions watched their live TV pictures of the Earth from orbit. history's first manned flight to the vicinity of another celestial body.
Apollo 9, the first docking of the command module with the lunar module. Apollo 10, the first rehearsal in the lunar environment. And then Apollo 11, July 20th, Four months later, a second trio of Americans arrived at the moon. They encountered Surveyor from an earlier mission. Next up, in April 1970, Apollo 13. Two days into the mission, an oxygen tank exploded in the command service module. The crew faced the prospect of slow suffocation. But using the reserves of oxygen in the lunar module, and with that module as their lifeboat, they were able to return safely to Earth. January 1971, Apollo 14, the first manned landing in and exploration of the lunar highlands. And on the surface. There you go. More firsts, Apollo 15, June 1971. The crew carried eight scientific experiments in a section of the command module. They also made good use of the lunar rover for the first time. March 1972, Apollo 16. The astronauts landed in the Descartes Highlands. They covered more than 16 miles in the lunar rover, collecting rock samples and setting up scientific instruments. Look over, look over. 
over to right. right. Oh, oh, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nine months later, Apollo 17, the last of the Apollo flights. Astronauts landed in the moon's Taurus mountain region. Using the lunar rover, they gathered 243 pounds of lunar sample. Apollo sent a dozen Americans to rove the surface of the moon and 15 others to fly into the grasp of its one-sixth gravity. They took the measure of the moon and in so doing took the measure of themselves and demonstrated the human potential. They brought back rocks, but as Mike Collins later told a joint session of Congress, it's a fair trade, for just as the Rosetta Stone revealed the language of ancient Egypt, so may these rocks unlock the mystery of the origin of the moon, and indeed even of our Earth and solar system. Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo. Their journeys have ended, but ours have barely begun.